a huge game coming off injury. Uh, it's great. Um, you know, having someone of his caliber on the court, it's always a big plus no matter what team you are. So um, have him out there. Um, obviously, he comes in and everyone feels his presence, both on our team and the other team. What was your perspective on, on the play where Malik got down, got baseline and, and got to the free throw line? And, and what was going through your head after he missed the first one? Um, I mean, I knew he wouldn't miss two in a row. Um, I mean, he's hit big free throw, a big free throw for us already. So um, obviously he missed the first one, but he's a 90 plus percent uh, free throw shooter. So wasn't wasn't worried about the second one. And even if he does miss, we get a stop, try to go to overtime, and win the game. You know this fan base really, really well. Sixth consecutive sellout. It seems like when they got involved in that fourth quarter, great things really started happening too. How much do, does the team feed off the energy that they've brought? Uh, you, you definitely pick up on that. Um, you know, regardless of what game it is, you know, we have a crowd that's going to show up night in and night out. Um, and it's, it's funny because the, the new guys, this is kind of their first glimpse of this, whereas I've been here for some years, so I've seen the good, the bad. Um, but just every night this year, it's, it's, it's been fantastic for us. And um, honestly, we, we want to have a better record at home than we do. Um, obviously, on the road, I think we're 500. So that's, you know, that's, if we go 500 for the year on the, ro- on the road, that's great. That's a, good, that's a big positive. But uh, for us, we have to be better at home, um, especially knowing the type of fans that we have. Like, this should, be a, uh, this should be one of the best home court advantages in truthfully all of sports. Like, we, we sell out games night in and night out. De'Aaron, what does it say about the toughness of this team to come back and get a victory like this? Yeah, I mean, we were, we were, I would say basically we were in the situation that we had them in yesterday. You know, we were up 18. Um, you know, they, they started making big plays and turning around, um, and I think we did the same thing tonight. So, um, obviously, everybody knows in the NBA it's, a, it's, a, it's definitely a game of runs, and this is one of the better teams in the league with the guy who could very possibly win the MVP again this year. Um, so just being able to do it against a team like that is, is, is a big positive for us. De'Aaron, uh, Malik was saying that he, he felt like, you know, seeing Sabonis back out there playing through um, some difficulties was, was kind of inspirational for everybody. Was it, Would you agree with that? Does that fire everybody up to see him get out there and, and go? Yeah, I mean, he literally has a broken thumb. Like, you know, going out there and uh, playing through that type of pain against a guy who, one, even if you have everybody healthy, it's going to be hard and up to almost impossible to stop. But uh, he goes out there, he fights, he still rebounds, um, knowing that that hand's going to get caught in there um, and get hit and get banged in this game. Um, he still went out there, and it just shows his toughness. And, um, I mean, he wants to win. You know, he when, we, when he came here, it wasn't to, you know, for just for the future. He wanted to come here and, and start winning games now. And, you know, as we get older, try to continue winning. So um, that's... I think that's that's a plus for for anybody that's a part of something like that. Not that you guys wanted to do it, but getting down early against that team, how much did that kind of help fuel you guys and trying to chip your way back and kind of shake off some of the rust you've shown over really the past few games? Um, I mean, I, I I would say for us tonight, you know, it's um, I mean, our bench was huge um, with the way that Malik scored the ball, KZ, um, Davion changing the game. Um, it was. It was big for us knowing that we can get comp- contribution from other guys. Um, like I said, there's I mean, three guys had 30. I don't know the last time we've done that. I don't know if that's happened. I don't know. Yeah, so uh, just knowing that you can have guys that can go off um, in a game, and then you also have someone like Davion who can come in and just change the course of a game on defense. Like it's, I think that's a, that's a complete team win for us. And then Malik has been pretty tough on the way he's played over the past few weeks. Uh, just do you think how, how much, how, I guess, needed is that swagger from him night in, night out? Uh, well, I get the I get the run of it when when he plays bad. Uh, we go up there. He's like, it's my fault. So, um, no, nah, I mean, Malik is is a player who I think everybody in this league, you know, going from high school to college, even to the NBA, that you know can, you know, just, you know, people call him microwave. He can he can just go off at any second. Um, you know, for us, I feel like we have to be, we want to be more consistent as a team. But just knowing, you know, what he can do night in and night out, you know, we, obviously you're not expecting 30 points from many people in the league every single night, but um, he's capable of, of doing it, you know, any night. So obviously players go through slumps. Uh, he went through a slump, and you know, for us, uh, we hope that he's he's out of that slump with a performance like tonight. 
Yeah, you mentioned knowing, you know, Domas has a broken thumb going into the game. I mean, do you find yourself early in the game looking to see how he's reacting to, you know, rebounds, stuff like that? And, and, how, and did you see it at all impact his game? Um, I don't think it really impacted his game. Um, but no, whenever we, whenever he told us that he was playing, it was, that is what it is. Um, we're ready to go out there, we're ready to fight together. But obviously in the back of our, ma- in the back of our mind, we know that it's going to hurt, but he doesn't, he doesn't show that. You mentioned a little bit of Davey and K- uh, Davion and KZ and how they changed the game defensively. That was something you guys struggled at the beginning of this. Can you just go into how much they really did help change the tides in this one? Yeah, uh, just ball pressure. Um, you know, guys coming up, bringing the ball up court, and playing a two-man game with anybody plus Jokic is, is hard. I mean, that's a he's a big guy, one of the best screen setters in the league, best rollers, poppers, passers, everything. Um, and just the way that they're able to fight over screens, continue to pursue, um, try to get deflections, um, just trying to be disruptive. I think that. Um, especially Davion in that fourth quarter was was amazing. It's not many guys um, in the league that can affect the game in that way. Will you share your assessment of how Jordy has done over these past two games? Then also, have you heard from Mike after tonight's win? Yeah, um, I mean, Jordy is, I'm not going to say just like Mike, but they do have some of the same qualities um, as far as, you know, what they demand. Um, but Jordy's been fantastic for us, even um, late in the game in Toronto um, and in these past two games. I think he's done a great job with us um, as far as schemes. I think a lot, a lot of our coverages come from Jordy and Mike working together. So um, I, I just think he's done a hell of a job, and I think it's great for us to get him his first you know, full game as a, as a head coach win against, against his former team. And, uh, yeah, Mike texted me today and just talking about next play speed. Um, obviously, I had the late foul call and um, – just try to let it go, get a stop, and you know, finish the game out.